Tonight they're going to move to do... Let me... Okay. Don't go so All right. Sorry, sorry. I'm going step by step okay. to answer your question. Okay. Tonight, we will repair that last wagon and that will be ready to be set at the station. Yep. We will move down to the track of the budget of the peace department. Yeah. No doubt and yep. no start. Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> C'est bon, c'est bon. Okay, there, there you have it. It's happening, and it's happening now. The Secretariat is in the house. The recycling is in the house. It sounds like it won't be done tonight, but it sounds like uh, Mr. Tomamonte believes it will be agreed to tonight. I'm going to call this one off because that was, a, that was an interview. That was a budget interview. Again, my problem is not with Tomamonte. I mean, my problem is with Paul Bia, but... Tomamonte is a fine is a fine diplomat. The reality is, Fairhan Hawk should never have claimed that this was agreed. Look, if it's agreed, people are not sleeping on couches on July third at ten a at ten p.m. It's just not how it's done. I don't know what the last wagon wheel is. I don't know what the crepe Suzettes are. All I know is somebody's lying, and I think it's Big Tony's team. Big Tony. Is lying. Am I using any force? Are you watching this? You are corrupt. You are corrupt. You are corrupt. I'm not using any force. Are you watching this? Are you watching this? Are you watching this? Where's Tomamonte? Where's Christian Saunders? I'm covering the budget. I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. Do you see what's happening here? No, do you see this? Oh, really? I asked you. I'm a journalist covering a $6 billion budget, and these guys tore my shirt, tore my pass right in front of you. You're an assistant secretary general. This is okay with you? Can I speak? Please. The budget hearings are, are the, the proprietary of the member states, and it's a closed budget it's hearing. It's not true. I just As talked to Tomo Monte. No. I'm a journalist. The Matthew, chairman Matthew, of the Matthew, committee Matthew, just spoke to me. As a secretary of staff member, uh, I am not allowed inside the room. Uh -huh. I am here in case they Right, just like at the Security right? Council. I stand outside as a journalist and I, know, I cover it. I know, but if a security officer, whether... And this, here's my shirt. No, you like this? But, you look, but, look at this. No. Look at this. Matthew, if they What's your me, name, sir? If hey, you what, on oh, on what lawful authority are you are you tearing my shirt? No, okay, so give the, give the order. No, no, I, I have a right to cover this. I'm, co I'm a journalist covering the budget. I wasn't doing anything. I was sitting here typing what Tomo Monte told me, Matthew, and this guy tore my shirt. Matthew, I think you're, there's something. Go. No. Matthew, Matthew, it's a, go. Matthew, it's a closed let's session. Go. Let's it's go. Not, let's go. I, I'm not inside the session. No, I'm sitting yeah, outside covering no, it. I'm want, sitting covering it. Are you, are you out of your mind? Do you see this? I'm, I'm, Have you seen Matthew, this? Matthew, Matthew, well, do you answer for this? They tore my shirt. They tore my pass off. Is this your UN? Thug guards? No, they're not thug guards. Oh, really? No, then what's this? What's this? Did I did I raise a single hand to no. this guy? No. He tore my home. shirt. If you don't want to go, I would take Nobody you Nobody asked you. Yeah, yeah. He asked, he asked, he asked, he asked, he asked you to leave. leave. No, no, and I said I, I, have, I don't have to leave. I said I've asked about it at the noon briefing every day. You have to leave. I've asked about it. At the, who asked you to do this? Who asked you to do this? Antonio Guterres? Who asked you to do this? Matthew. I'm a journalist covering a $6 billion budget. Sitting in the Vienna Cafe talking to Tomo Monte, the chairman of the committee, and you ripped my shirt Matthew. and you tore my pass off. Matthew. This you're a thug. Matthew. Nothing but a Matthew. thug. Matthew. Let's leave, please. No. Let's leave. Uh, this guy is higher than you. I want you. You order them to put me out. Is that your order? I'm not going to order them to No, you are, out. though. But if they ask you to leave. Why are they asking me? Leave. You're an assistant secretary general. I'm just saying Why are these guards in a $6 billion bus budget tearing my shirt and throwing me in the street? Why? Tell me. Tell me. You were asked to leave. What, why was I asked to leave? I'm asking you. Why was I? No, except there's a meeting about a $6 billion budget. Do you not understand it? That's how you get paid. This is we the people. $6 billion budget. I'm a journalist. I didn't raise my hand. I was sitting with my laptop. This guy grabbed my computer. This guy grabbed my shirt. Now he's grabbing my hand. Listen. Something is totally out of control. You're an ASG. You're the highest one here. Either call somebody higher or do the right thing. I'm asking you to Do you believe in freedom? Oh, you told me. Exactly you believe. Oh. They have asked you to leave. You refuse. You said I'm a higher person. Yes. I'm a higher ranking person. I'm asking you to leave. Okay. So you, on behalf of Antonio Guterres, you say that a $6 billion budget can't be covered by a journalist. 
session. I'm not going in. Did I go into the conference room five? So, no, I was sitting here. I talked to the chairman. You think I'm not a journalist? I just talked to Tomo Monte. He told me exactly what's going on. Yeah, so why am I getting my, my shirt torn in this in this dirt was torn, my pass was torn off. This is the UN you created. Secret approval of six billion dollar budgets. Yes it is. I'm here covering it. I speak to your diplomats. It's, yeah, pull me out. Go ahead, go ahead. Hit me right here, right here. Please hit me right here. It's a process. Right me hit here. Yeah, and I'm covering it outside speaking to diplomats that are unhappy with Antonio Guterres's Sleazy reforms. Nobody accepts them. Nobody approves them. And they tore my shirt. Are you okay with that? Are you going to file a complaint? Are you going to tell Mick Brown? Are you going to tell Mr. Drennan that this guy tore my shirt? I didn't do anything. I was sitting with a laptop, and this guy grabbed me, grabbed my computer, grabbed my hand, grabbed my phone, tore my shirt, tore my pass off. Mulroney. Dobbins. He asked no, exactly. And I said, I'm covering it. And the next thing I knew, he tore my shirt. If, if a security my officer... Oh, oh, really? Oh, exactly? If what if he pulls a gun? I'm a journalist. I cover the budget committee. I've covered it for a decade. Now that I write about UN corruption, these guys tear my shirt off and you sit around saying it's fine. No, it is fine. You did say it's fine. You say go out. And as you're standing there, the guy's still pulling my arm. I'm about to come on this no, no, I'm talking because this guy represents. Okay. If you can't handle it, then call Pollard. Call Allison Smale. I am a journalist. I know you're a journalist. Yeah, I'm a journalist. I asked about this in the noon briefing every day for five days. Call Brendan Varma. What are you going to do? P pass a two, $10 billion? It's a I'm a journalist. I want to see how the public's money is spent. I'm not causing any problem. I'm sitting in a table. I'm sitting in a table. No, no, you're targeting me because I wrote about you. It's the joke. This is like, this is like, no, I, no. Oh, okay, oh. okay, so you, I'm leaving under your authority. Antonio Guterres, Assistant Secretary General against sexual harassment and corruption, is telling a journalist to not cover the budget. No problem. Oh, I'm happy. Why don't you, why don't you, no, no, push me. Grab me again. Why don't you grab my computer? This is unbelievable. Oh, yeah, through the garage. Watch out, guys. They might kill me in the garage. Seriously, I was sitting there typing. You, you really have to push my neck, right? Something is wrong with you. You should be fired. If you were in NYPD, you would be fired right now because I'm not resisting. You had no right to touch my computer. You had no right to tear my shirt. None of it. Yeah, please come with me because I need a witness. These guys are thugs. Thugs! Absolute thugs! Oh yeah, keep, keep pulling me, keep pulling me. Keep pulling me. Let's go physical. Because I'm going to tell you, I didn't do anything. You should never have touched my shirt. This is a shocking display. Please, come with me, because I don't trust these guys to not kill me in the street. Do you see this? Do you see this? This is how, if they do this in New York, imagine what they do in Sudan. No, no. Imagine what they do in Sudan. Yeah, yeah. I'm covering the budget. Oh, Matthew Lee was sitting in the Vienna Cafe talking to the chairman of the Fifth Committee. They're still meeting. I ask about the budget every day in the new briefing. Maybe you don't care. You just want to take the money and run it. I'm covering the budget. What are you, lurking around? Trying to throw a journalist in the street? What do you think I'm here covering? Seriously, what do you think I'm covering? What am I covering? Shocking. Really, this is embarrassing. And they can try to dress it up. You're a witness, okay? I didn't raise my hand once. I didn't say anything. I was sitting typing up a quote for Toma Monte when this guy... I don't... Because it's, it's, there's no mistake. The guy's a total thug. Yeah, throw me on the street. You, you're so corrupt. So corrupt. I'm telling you, something is wrong with you. This is all Antonio Guterres. I've never seen this before in my life. I've never seen it before. And it's no mistake. They did it on the 20s. Oh, thank you, sir. Step back. No, no, you're the one who's a criminal. Go back. Run back. Tell Tom Monte they threw it in the street. Disgusting. I can't, I don't, that you work with these people is an embarrassment. An embarrassment. I'm covering the budget. The guy tore my shirt. He tore my pass off. I think it was almost a week ago. Or it was a week ago. I'd asked you whether it's, it's about the UN policy of, of uh, UN security 
uh, ousting a non-resident correspondent during a meeting to be covered and refusing to give their names. And now the Government Accountability Project has asked the same question. So I'm wondering, you didn't ask it when I answered it, what is the policy of the UN on something as fundamental as security officers giving their names and also can they oust journalists during a meeting such as a budget meeting that will be upcoming, I would believe, in, certain, in coming days? As far as I'm aware, the security officers were enforcing the appropriate rules. Any quite problems that you have with them are questions that you need to address with our colleagues in UN security and with media accreditation.